Hi, welcome back to a brand new video of the targeted individual program, targeted experience. So the New York City Predator Department again. Uh, the noise, the remote little monitoring. All right, the uh, hijacking my consciousness, and you know, same old, same old. So. I was watching a video, right? This is from the, uh, it's a channel. I think it's called um, International Justice Forum, something like that. You know, it's like lawyers in the United States. And they were talking about, um, which I never even knew exists. All right, there's, so there's something called uh, state-created um, danger uh, a, uh, a, a state created uh, danger doctrine right that's what it's called all right and it's where the state does things or doesn't do things to put uh, another person's life in danger from those within uh, law enforcement or those outside of law enforcement in which the state has abused its authority or those working within the state the government the state government abused their authority to harm someone or a group of people but we know the state itself create great harm by creating a situation, uh, causing great harm by creating a situation in which people's lives are put at risk or in danger, right? So it's, you know, it's called state-created uh, danger doctrine, <laughs> right? So yeah. What's going up? on because I can always push it back. All right, so yeah, this is what they do again, over and over again. They know exactly what it is that they do, and so there are lawyers out there who have come together to uh, take on cases in which the state. Again, are the police, you know, uh, harm people or put people in harm way. All right, so anyhow. Um, hey, I was talking, I was kind of distracted. So the, the guy that walked in front of me, uh, you know, as I was walking up and wanted to finish saying what I had to say, didn't want to get distracted. But, uh, <laughs> you, know, he walked, you know, his pants was down, right? His pants, you know, and they'll do that sometimes because they know that, you know, I mean, listen, these are grown men, right? They're not like children. He walked by sniffing. These are, these are grown ass uh, men in their 30s, right? Uh, you know, close to, you know, over 30 years old. Yeah, he's over 30 years old. As young as he looks, he's. He's, he's over 30 years old, okay? All right? And uh, not like he's a teenager or a young man in their 20s, in which you can, you know. And I think I've, I've talked, to, talked to all of them about that shit already. But, you know, that's what they do. All right? I want you to know. Yeah, I see you, buddy. I see you. <laughs> look, you look at back this. You know I'm gonna look back to to record them. <laughs> I tell you, this is this is what they do, right? In the Crest Persuasion Program, this is what they do. Anyhow, um, you know it's about control. That's what it is. Uh, I was watching another video. Uh, I forgot the name of the person you know this black woman you know uh she's 
she's an educator and uh, she has a doctorate and she was talking about the things that uh you know <laughs> uh bobby Hemmett and phil valentine's talking about particularly when it comes to how that once you become a conscious person right how the u.s government will do things in secret do things in the shadow to uh deplete you financially right because the one thing that they're afraid of as um, Dr. Claude Anderson says is black consciousness, right? They have to stamp out black consciousness because of the fear that black conscious people will engage in revolutionary activities, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And again, revolutionary activities that is unfounded uh, and again, this is what they try to say about the Black Panther Party. But the Black Panther Party wasn't. Uh, as she walked in, close in front of me, you guys can see she does the upside down peace sign. Right? <laughs> so, yeah. So, the Black Consciousness, like the Black uh, Panther Party, Black Consciousness meaning that you Damn, love yourself bro. as a black person, you love black people. And you want to see black people prosper and do better. And stop the oppression of black people. That's that right in front of me. One second. All right. I right, see she moves. Do I come back? Let's come back. <laughs> Did she move? Do I come out? What's she going to do? Come right back. Like I said, these people, you know. But anyhow, um, that's what they're afraid of. That's what they're, they're afraid of. And the, the Black Panther wasn't talking about revolutionary in terms of overthrowing the US government. Black Panther was talking about creating having a revolutionary mindset in terms of black people taking care of each other the way other groups of people take care of each other. Right? So that's what they're afraid of. You know, Dr. Claude Anderson, yeah, fuck you too. Dr. Claude Anderson um, talked about you know how white people, how they hijack everything black people do. Everything black people create, they hijack it, they soon take it over. You know, R&B, hip hop, the biggest selling artists right now are white men and white women. Right? The biggest selling hip hop artists are white men. Right? But how we are conditioned, we are conditioned to support other groups of people who don't support us. It continues to take from us, and, and we say no. Right? And the thing is that we'll take from each other. But we're not taking from the the people who have money. We take people from, we take from people who don't have money. That's our condition. Like I guess it's like the pastors and the, and the pimps in the pulpit. They take from the poor, and they condition our mindset to, to be like that, right? They condition our mindset to be exactly like that. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> you're saying, but this is what they do. Right? And black people, we don't even, we're so ignorant and so damn stupid there you go. that we it's like rinse and repeat. We stuck on the same shit. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I said nigga peers is a, is a threat and a danger to black people. And black people need to identify nigga peers. that they know who to trust and who not to trust. Right? Too much of our people are conditioned with nonsense. I was watching um, a pastor, Fred Price, Price Jr. Right? And again, these religious Negroes, you know, they'll use, uh, um, you know, si now they're using science now to explain the fact that, yeah, they're, 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 they're like, to match it up to the Bible. And I'm like, bro, oh, you know, go and do a research outside of the Bible. Right? There's the question. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's what she has, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Fashionable. Yep. Anyhow. Um. 
they're using, like I said, science. Right? As she said, now they're using science. Right? These people who always talk about, you know, uh, who have always uh, spoke against science because science dispute, dispute their religious belief. So he's talking about how he's Hebrew, he's Israelite. Do you, do you, do you not understand history? Do you not understand history, anthropological history as well as archaeological history? Okay? You don't need to take a DNA test to, to know that you're, you know, you are a descendant of the people who call themselves Hebrew, Israelite, uh, Kemet, Kemetic, you know what I'm saying? Greek, right? Need you need to go and read this book by Black Scholars, right? Dr. Joseph Ben Jackson, Chancellor William, okay? James G. Jackson, right? Dr. Charles Finch, okay? Plus, Dr. John Heaven Clark, right? Dr. Anthony Brown. Right? So you don't need to go and take a DNA test anymore. You could one of the best and greatest history books that black people can read is the destruction of black civilization by Chancellor. Okay? A very a, a well researched, well documented book on how African people Right, which occupy Africa today. Right, how we came to be. Okay. All right. At one point, the Arabs were black like you and me, even darker. Okay. At one point, European were darker, black like you and me. <laughs> okay. At one point. The Asians, like the Chinese, the South Koreans, the North Koreans, were black like you and me, right? Everywhere on this planet, in the beginning of our human history, you'll find black people, and only black people.